and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Community, guys. Today I'm going to be going over who are the best players to use the 95 overall power pass on. Now, as you guys know, this power pass did come out like two to three weeks ago, but not many people have made a video on it for the simple reason that not many 95s were in the game. When it, when it did come out, there was 195 in the game, and that was series for Master Brandon Cooks, and that was the only player, and although he was a decent guy to put on that list, it would have been a list of one guy. Now, Brandon Cooks was really good. Now, with all the other stuff that's come out, He's not nearly as good as we had thought he would be for quite a while. There's plenty of other cards now that are equally as good. But the main point here is, guys, I probably wouldn't have making two of these lists. This is my list for now. I'll probably end up remaking this list sometime come the first, second week of January. It's probably the second week of January. If there's some more that, if there's other stuff that comes out that's relevant for the time being, there's a very solid list of 95 overall cards you're using on. I already used my power pass, so I won't have it here to show you, but I will go over my options and I'll end up telling you guys who I use it on, although. If you're a loyal sub, you probably already know who I used it on. But, guys, remember, if you are new to the channel or you're loyal to the channel, you're always here. It is the 25 Days of Poodmas. All you guys need to enter, as per usual, is subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below your console, and the secret word you hear throughout the video. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck. And, guys, I did post my NFL player predictions earlier this morning. Make sure to check that out. Show a little bit of support on that video. Just go drop a like. Watch it for a little bit. Give me your opinions at some point whenever you're ready. But let's get into this. So, first things first. The 95 power pass, we don't have to get it. You pretty much have to max hit maximum level. Maximum level 80 is when you do get that 95 overall power pass. Now, you can get more from daily objectives and other ways, but that takes quite a while, and I imagine most of you guys aren't even that close. So, the only way to get it is to hit maximum level 80, which is not entirely that hard. Go play the same solo for a few hours, and I promise you, you knock it out real quick. I got to maximum level 80 from 70 to 80 in about three hours, three to four hours. It's really not that long. So, if you're, if you're probably like a level 50 or 40, it could probably take you like a day or two if you play like an hour or two a day. It's really not that bad. I promise. Now, I said over to the auction box to show you guys my top five options. Now, there's not many honorable mentions here. The, so there's going to be one honorable mention within the top five, but I wouldn't say like I have any extras because there's not enough to really go off of honorable mention. Now, number five is a guy that I personally don't know if I'd have space for my team, but a lot of people could probably find some use here. Richard Sherman is a solid fifth option as an LTD, and this is kind of price, but it's kind of price oriented. Remember, the power pass can be used one of two ways. You can use it if you have, if you're no money spent, and you're broke, you got no coins. You can use it as a way to get a player that you have no coins for anyways, right? So whether it's a 300k player or 900k player, just go for you want. Now, when you have coins, let's say for my team, when I have enough coins to kind of dictate who I want, sometimes it's best for me to go for the guy who's most expensive, so I don't have to pay for him. I can buy a guy that's cheaper. Let's say I want Mel Blunt and Richard Sherman as my cornerbacks. Maybe I buy Mel Blunt for 278 and then use my power pass on Richard Sherman to save myself almost a million coins. Now, Sherman is, he does have low speed, but you're going to have to have him powered up. So, powered up and chemmed up and everything, he's going to have a 90 speed, 90 XL, and he's going to be, he's already 6 foot 3, which is massive in terms of the reach he has. Now, with chemmed up, powered up, and everything, he's going to have 99 zone coverage, 96 man coverage, 99 press coverage, 99 play rec, close to 99 jumping, close to 99 agility. The only thing lacking is speed and agility a little bit, but he has almost 99 everything. So you combine all of that with the 78 catching and just his height and jumping and reach. He's, he, I always, I'm telling you guys, Richard Sherman always plays above his speed. He might, if he's matched up with Tyreek Hill, Tyreek Hill might burn him a little bit, but when you throw Richard Sherman has enough comeback ability, like I'm telling you, like his jumping and his height and his zone just plays so well all the time. Like you think you have him burnt and it's just a bait because he's so tall that he'll be able to jump in. Rich Sherman always plays above his stats, and his stats are pretty good, but that's my number five option. I personally don't think I'd end up going with him compared to the other guys I'm going to give you guys, except for this one. This one right here, number four, is Bo Jackson. Now, Bo Jackson, is the he's in the case of a no-money-spent team. If you're no-money-spent and you really can't afford, you have like a 10K coins, you really can't afford anything, and this is all you got, and you just want to have the most overpowered running back in the game, Bo Jackson and Sherman are those two scenarios where if you, need, you just want the most expensive player or you just want a player where... You just want the best running back in the game. Now, I don't advise economically as Bo Jackson. I, I prefer to buy Bo Jackson with coins. But if you guys want to have the best running back in the game, and I'll show you guys in Power Up, if you, want to, if you want to have this guy in the game and you can't afford him to begin with, sometimes maybe even though you won't get the most out for your coins with the Power Pass, you're going to get the best running back in the game, as you see by stats on the right, and it's going to be worth it. Now, that's five and fourth option. Now, the top three are more than likely the ones that I would recommend going with. Like, those are the three that are kind of interchangeable. I'd probably end up doing any of them. But Bo Jackson, you definitely need him on your team. So if you can't afford him, you might want to at least give him a look. 
or if you already have them powered up and you've had them all year sometimes again remember some people they don't have the luxury of just going to go buy uh go buy richard sherman power up all the way get everything and spend all those coins not everyone has that coins some people might just have bo jackson as their best card on their team fully powered up and they just want his full card so you have to always anticipate for that too and the bo jackson's obviously the beast next on the list is going to be randy moss now this guy i had him he was the first guy i had my power pass on i took him off only because i wanted another guy i wanted to get the bo jackson which meant that i had to use my take off my mutt 10 power pass for this redux moss and it ended up screwing up my whole moss power train but this 95 overall moss is probably the best wide receiver in madden fully powered up and chemmed up as your power pass he's going to end up north of a 95 speed close to 99 spec catch close to 95 uh, 99 deep right running all above 90 route running in general high catching high catch traffic above 95 jumping and he's six foot four you combine all that you're getting one of the you're, you're getting a monster like he's he's super tall super super quick super fast crazy reach he can do it all i'm telling you this randy moss was a beast for me i loved him but i couldn't hold on to him because i didn't have the coinage to afford his month 10 card because ironically all of their mutt 10 cards have skyrocketed. The word is Grinch. Comment down below the word Grinch. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your console which is all the stage range to win. Good luck. Not good in price, so I had to sell them off to go get my Bo Jackson. But these this Randy Moss definitely, definitely is one of the best wide receivers, if not the best receiver in Madden right now. So he's definitely up there in consideration for the best one to use it on. Now the next two guys, they're kind of interchangeable. It all comes down to your scheme. So in my opinion, this guy only fits into certain schemes, which is why he's not number one. But if he had to be able to play everything, I would put him in as the top guy overall. And that is Khalil Mack, LTD Ghost of Madden President. This dropped yesterday, guys. This card is an absolute tank. Compare him to Von Miller, which a lot of you guys probably still have. Plus six speed. He's got 87 speed, 88 excel, 88 strength, 89 tackle. 95 play rec, 91 block shed, 94 power move, and 90 finesse move. So what does it tell you? Here's the thing with actually wait, here's the thing with Khalil Mack that concerns me though. So the issue with Khalil Mack is if you go down to his zone, right? Now don't kill me just yet so you hear what I have to say. His zone coverage is only 55. Which means that you're not gonna keep him in a zone. He's a strict pass rusher, right? And if any of you guys run a 3-4 like I do, and you have Lawrence Taylor ready. You guys don't make the same mistake that most people make is that if you have if you're in a three four you really only want one linebacker outside linebacker like a pass rush so for me lawrence pass rushes but khalil mack will just stand up in the zone all the time same thing with von miller he always played a zone for me so von miller is kind of useless in the zone he's slow he can't play zone and he can't catch so khalil mack the only benefit he has in three four is that he has 87 speed and he has 88 excel and he's six foot three so that means that he can still sit in the zone he can't if a guy runs past me, he can kind of keep up with them. He can chase down a receiver. He can do a lot of things. Von Miller can't do any of those things because he's too slow at this point. So, Khalil Mack will seem a lot better in the zone, but he's not going to be able to get a good zone read. He's not going to make plays in the zone. He's not going to be able to jump around. He Occasionally, they just do it because it's a video game, right? But he's not going to be consistently there. So, like, if you want Khalil Mack as your main pass rusher, maybe on the right outside linebacker spot, maybe you get Van Der Esch there. You don't go Lawrence Taylor. If you run a 3-4, or if you want more, if you want Khalil Mack and Lawrence, you can just change your scheme up to, like, any, anything other than 3-4. Figure out what you guys got to run. Big nickel. Whatever you got, whatever you feel the need to run, go do that if you want Khalil Mack. But the only reason I don't put Khalil Mack there is because if you already run a 3-4 or some of those defenses, you won't have much of a use for him unless you completely switch up your scheme. So he's not just like a... I like guys who I can just put a power pa put the power pass on, just plug and play. Instant animals. Khalil Mack is still great though. He's one of the best pass rushers. Can block shit. Can play wreck. Has speed. He's slightly worse than Lawrence Taylor. So if you have Lawrence Taylor already, I wouldn't recommend you get rid of Matt, uh, Taylor for Mack. But I also wouldn't recommend that you just pick one of them. You can have both. Just make sure you do your research first and get the right scheme for him. Now, first on the list is actually one of my favorite choices. Well, he's first, so he's probably my, my favorite choice. I really do love this card. This card, guys, you have no idea how well this card plays. He is he's a glitch. Now, of course, I typed his name in wrong because that was about to happen. Sean Taylor, the new LTD Sean Taylor specifically, is one of the best free safeties I've ever had in Madden. As long as I've been playing. He is different. I'm telling you, this is the guy that I use my power pass on. 96 overall Sean Taylor, fully powered up. You can see on the right, 94 speed, 94 excel, 89 tackle, 90 play rec, 93 pursuit, 82 man, 93 zone, 96 of power. So, usually when you get a free safety, right? If he has a 96 of power, he probably will only have like a 90 speed and like an 88 zone, right? Or occasionally you get the rare free safety like Brian Dawkins. 87 speed, but he had 90 zone and like a 93 of power. So, but, but, but Sean Taylor gives you something else. He's 
one of the he's probably the fast card in the field he's one of the top fast he's probably the top five fast guy in the car on the field while you have him on there which is unlikely sean taylor never gets that kind of speed oh he also has the excel running back he has the pursuit of any for safety in the game that you can like one of the best for safeties in the game he can man up like a low-end cornerback if you blitz and typically a free safety will be manned up on a tight end or like a running back so that man is phenomenal for who they're gonna be matched up on with their route running the zone coverage is a 93 which makes him one of the best zone lockdown guys on the field oh and his hit power is 96 which means he almost has a 99 and he's pretty much a, tr a mac truck so he can force fumbles he can pretty much he could play like cam chancellor play zone like earl thomas and run like Devin hester guys i'm telling you the Sean Taylor card is different. And to make it even better, he's six foot two. He is six foot two, which is two inches bigger than Brian Dawkins. I'm telling you, this was the biggest upgrade I've ever made. People like, you know, you know that those glitchy like cover three beaters where they throw it over the middle and like a deep post and the free safety kind of gets burnt. Sean Taylor jumps it. He jumps up so high he picks it off. And wait, hold up. I'm pretty sure Sean Taylor's jumping is insane too. Let's see, hold up. I'm pretty sure he has like a crazy yeah, 93 jumping. That's 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 incredible. Because Brian Dawkins, I believe, maxed out, did not have that kind of jumping. Now, I'm telling you, he picks everything off, he forces fumbles, and he's all over the field because his speed, his speed, he just gets everywhere. Like, he never feels like, he, whatever angle he takes, he'll catch up to. It's not like the kind of guy where you can just completely outrun him with a running back. He will make a play, he'll always be on the field, he hits the hole, and he has good block shed. What else must I say? He can play in the run game, he can play in the, he can play in the pass game. He can run around the field. I, I love this card, guys. One of the best options I've made all year with the power pass. I think Sean Taylor's your go-to option. Now, if you don't want a free safety... Feel free to go Khalil Mack. Feel free to go Randy Moss, Bo Jackson, Sherman. But I think Sean Taylor, Mack are your top two options with Moss being, with Moss, I said that weird, with Moss being a, a distant second or third option. But guys, that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope these power pass options were informative. I hope they helped you out with using your 95. I imagine a lot of you guys have been very curious on who to use it on considering not people have made videos on it. Remember, I will update this video in the future if much better stuff does end up coming out. But for the time being, I think Sean Taylor is a set it and forget it option. Just toss him on your team. He'll be fine. But guys, that's better for the video. Remember to enter 25 Days of Poop Miss. All you need to enter is like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below your console, and the secret word you heard throughout the video. I want you to listen to win. Good luck. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next one. Peace.